Good morning, everyone, and here is today's sunshine from Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. We now reflect on this wisdom from God. Whenever I happen upon a spider web and look at it closely, I always think to myself, wow, that's amazing. What a beautiful creation. However, whenever I come across a spider, not so much. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, I've read too much about them to think that they're out to get me or that the majority of them could really hurt me or anything. I like snakes and lizards and other animals some might consider creepy. And whenever I see spiders up close on TV, I can recognize the magnificent intricacy of the way they live and were made. So there's really no reason for me not to like them. I just don't. But yet, whenever I find a spider in my house, I almost always try to have mercy on it and carry it outside without killing it. And if I do kill it, I always feel really guilty about it. Not only because I've read a lot about creepy creatures, but because I have read even more about their amazing creator. The same Lord that created you and I also created all living things, creepy things like spiders, as well as cuddly things like golden retrievers. God is the giver of life and he delights in all his creatures. This is why he appointed man to care for them, and had Adam name all the animals, because life is valuable. Typically, it's really easy for us to love our dogs or cats, treat them well, and regard their lives as valuable, whereas other animals may prove to be more difficult for us. And the same is true when dealing with our fellow human beings. Our verse for today says, Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. This connects righteousness with mercy and wickedness with cruelty, and ultimately, righteousness and mercy are the nature of God. They are his gifts that he gives to us in faith, and whenever we display them, we are imitating him. As sinful creatures living in a fallen world, we often experience brokenness. We will not always delight in creation, and we will struggle to be merciful to others and see all people, especially those we don't particularly like, as valuable. In sin, we are not inherently righteous, but in the forgiveness of Jesus, we have been clothed in God's righteousness. Thus, only He can help us to rejoice in all things and be merciful to the least of these, because He has been merciful to us who were once enemies of God. With the help of God, we can show mercy, because we have been shown the mercy of Jesus. In faith, we know the giver of life, and by his grace, we may show regard for all living things, big or small, man or beast. So may we always praise our Creator, care for his creation, and rejoice in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Awesome Creator, you have made us in your image and saved us in your Son. Grant us the righteousness of his forgiveness, that we may not give in to the cruelty of wickedness, but rather live in kindness towards all, showing the mercy we have been shown. In the holy name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Now may God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his sunshine this day. Amen.